So when you have a super high-end, crazy expensive video card like the NVIDIA RTX 5090, you need to have a system that keeps up. You need to have a system that doesn't have any bottlenecks. And your PCI Express, well, might be that bottleneck, or at least according to this article, the NVIDIA RTX 5090 loses apparently over 25% performance without full PCI Express bandwidth with noticeable losses in rendering workloads. And this would be a great time to remind you, and it gives me motivation to continue to do these videos, everything that's up here, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. Now, 25% is crazy. That's nuts. That's a lot of loss. Does this affect games? Thankfully? No, it doesn't really. I mean, maybe it would a few frames, you'd lose a few frames. What's a few frames? If you have a 5090 video card, it's not a lot, really. I mean, you might see those few frames if you're gaming at 4k with epic settings on using Unreal Engine 5 or something, it's possible, but where this is affected is if you are using your gaming computer system for something other than gaming, like for example, video editing, namely DaVinci Resolve, which gets a 20% loss because of this. After Effects, a 10% loss. And of course, that would mean that other rendering programs would also be affected. So if you are using your computer system for anything other than gaming, make sure that you have a really good motherboard, certainly one that has a PCI Express 5 slot, but it has to be 16 times. It is super important when you are building a super expensive computer system to try and avoid any bottlenecks. And if you bought a 5090 video card and you bought a very poor motherboard and poor memory and a poor drive and all that stuff, of course, that's a loss in itself.